Hey there, I'm Rich Demiro, and you're in the queue. Our fave five in tech news for Wednesday, November 22nd, 2006. Cheap email for your cell phone. That's the promise from a startup called Burgi. The company, whose service launches Thanksgiving Day, says their program is the cheapest, simplest way to get email on almost any cell phone. Download the program and you're charged 10 bucks a month on your phone bill. You don't need a data plan to use Burgi. The service works on almost every carrier except Verizon and Nextel. It doesn't work with Blackberries or Trios. But then again, you don't need it. $100 laptops are a step closer to reality. A batch of 1,000 rolled off the assembly line in China. MIT Media Lab hatched the idea of a super cheap laptop. Their goal? Provide children worldwide access to knowledge and YouTube. The machines are rugged, open source, and self-powered. The first units will be put through harsh testing to prepare them for real-world use in developing countries. Better tell grandma and grandpa OnStar might not be there for them, thanks to the digital transition. Launched in 1996, the roadside program calls for help at the click of a button, but older OnStar systems are analog, and the FCC says wireless carriers can ditch those networks in 2008. Now OnStar is scrambling to make sure drivers upgrade to digital dialers. And you thought you took a lot from the company supply closet? Maybe you haven't compared your rubber band ball to Steve Milton's. The 26-year-old started building it last November, and now it's the world's largest, weighing in at 4,000 pounds, 175,000 rubber bands, and 19 feet tall. Guinness World Records was on hand to certify it all. Finally, the beta of the day, Spellify.com, a site that's spelled just right. Not much to this one, just a simple spell checker. Type or paste text into the field, and it springs into action, checking Google for the right way to spell anything. But it is still beta. Words in caps are ignored. No matter how you spell it, you're in the Q-U-E-U-E. -E. I'm Rich Demiro for CNET.com in New York City. Don't say I didn't tell you so.